These are my fast Panzerottis, filled with all kinds of goodness, cheesy outside. <laughs> Panzerottis. This is one of the most satisfying pizzas that uh, I know how to make. Um, it's very quick and easy. And we're using something uh, called a uh, low carb tortilla. La Banderita or Aldi are these ones. And um, there's virtually no carbs, uh, probably three or four net carbs per tortilla. And in moderation, it's fine. So what I've done is I've chosen what I think are the best low carb vegetables and I pre-cooked them. I've got some uh, yellow peppers, I've got some mushrooms, some olives, and some tomatoes from the Global Buckets, and I've got some ham, and some Italian sausage, and it's got the nice fennel taste in it. And uh, I pre-cooked that, because we're just going to hit this fast in the pan, so that's, that's pre-cooked. We're going to start off with our tortillas and some fresh basil from the garden. And this is my real Italian pizza sauce. If you haven't tried this, you should make up a batch, put it into little containers, freeze it, and whenever you're ready for, you know, Panzerati pizza or any other kind of pizza, this is the stuff to use. Low carb. Then we're just going to load up the Panzerati's. Mushrooms. You don't want to overstuff them, or it's going to be a knife and fork thing, which this will probably be. And some olives. These are garlic stuffed olives from Costco. They're really good. Sauteed yellow peppers. I don't, I normally put jalapenos in, but I'm out of jalapenos. I'm going to put a little bit of the tomato. So I kind of cook the tomato a little bit. Some ham. Bacon's good in there too. Whatever, whatever you like for pizza some sausage. Yeah, see they're getting pretty full. And that's probably enough right there. I'm going to turn this on. And I've got some freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Yeah, see that's really full, that one. And the oil that I'm going to use is a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You could use bacon fat. I've done it with bacon fat too. Just probably about a tablespoon in there. Not much. We'll just bring that up. The induction burner doesn't take long to heat up. It only takes like maybe 30 seconds. And this is kind of going to spill out too, which is fine. A little bit of a sizzle. I'm going to fry that to a golden brown. And when we flip, we're going to put cheese underneath and it'll make a nice crunchy shell. Okay, that doesn't take long. That's about three to four minutes on that side and it's all nice and uh, gooey and melty. So I'm going to flip this over. There, see I've got some nice golden brown there. I'll do this one. Yep. And now one of the little tricks I like to do is take some of the mozzarella cheese and just kind of lift this up and get some underneath. That just melts right into the tortilla. So the contents are cooked and we're just basically browning up the outside and um, and warming up the filling. It's an extremely fast way to make little panzerottis. There, that took about eight minutes in total. I've got some nice crispy cheese on this side. See what that looks like. See the cheese? That looks really good. Mushrooms. Kind of want to pre-cook all this stuff first so you get some of the moisture out of it. That's what I'm talking about right there. And I'll serve a little bit of the extra real Italian pizza sauce with this. I don't think we'll be able to pick these up, but um, it'll be a knife and fork thing. Put some extra sausage on top. Sometimes I put a little bit of guacamole on too, which is really good. There you go. There's a really easy Panzerati in a pan. Thanks for watching.